In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the valley pin right here. This pulled up, let me just slide it up the wire. And then you have to unplug the clip. Okay, so either the knock sensor or <laughs> this needs to be replaced. But basically, all you have to do is get like some needle nose pliers or something like that. And then you just grab a hold of this and squeeze it. All right, and then it will release that. So see how it's held in there? Squeeze that and then it's out. So I'm gonna go in and an angle and squeeze and it releases. That's That was so damn easy, wow. That's how you professionally clean a valley pan. All right, y'all, it's crazy because I found this at the junkyard. It's laying on the ground. I don't know what size it is. Seven eighths, deep well. Anyway, dude, it fits on there freaking perfectly. Only thing is I don't have the big ratchet. Hey, man, don't let absent tools stop you from getting something done. Look at this. Boom. That's a knock sensor. Yeah, this one's not good. Driver up in here. All right, so I just stuck this underneath here and just popped it up. But yeah, well, you can definitely see the cam. But this right here, little pieces of the uh, knock sensor. Cannot let any piece get down in there. All right, you guys, we got this thing cleaned up pretty well. Um, I put it in a bathtub and just scrubbed at it. Got this side pretty clean as well. I was cleaning this side a little bit more than the front, but then I was like, bro, this is going to be covered up. All right, you guys. So this is the final product. This is all I'm going to do to it. As you guys can tell, it's pretty clean. All right, you guys. So we're up here at the junkyard, and I just pulled this piece off right here. I don't really know what it's called. It's, oh, there goes that. It's, I think it's for the coolant or something like that. And I got a knock sensor because I broke the one on my engine. So um, I should have filmed it, but it's literally just four 10 millimeter bolts. Bolts right here, here, on the back side, and on the back side right here. Once you get these long bolts out, they're like that long. Um, I end up, I got this right here, this little case, uh, White Panther. And um, comes with a long ass extension and a short one. I took the long extension, put it right here, and just pressed up easily on all corners and just lift it up. And it actually connects to this right here by this. You just need to pull that off, and then that comes out free. And then this, the knock sensor, it's just a, a 22 mil or a, what is this? This is a 7 8 big boy on a freaking huge, freaking, what is this, like a 3 8 ratchet? bigger one i don't know but uh i got both of those um i end up breaking my knock sensor piece this piece well now that i see that one's broke so damn now i have to take this one out <laughs> but i was thinking about you guys think i should come to the junkyard and just like show y'all how to tear an engine down like i can take i can film a video on how to remove an intake or a head stuff like that y'all want that i would of course have to do it with one engine because i don't want to have to go around tearing down all these other engines and stuff that people may need so yeah that'd be pretty cool but i need to go ahead and get this knock sensor out hey guys i'm gonna be painting this piece right here chevrolet orange
This paint's junk. Look at this shit running. It's junk. It's gonna be covered up anyway, but it is. That's painted. Wait for that to dry. Throw some more coats on, and then throw it back on the engine. It's time to throw this mug on. It's got uh, quite a few different coats of paint on it, but we gonna go ahead and slap this mug back on. Ah, gotta line it up. Line it up, man. All right, you guys, I got my tools. I just tightened all this up. So, still don't know what the heck this is, but I cleaned it up a little bit. Got all the big shards of rust off of it. Not really too concerned about it, but basically, just put it in these holes right here. Just like that. And the one with the hose on it goes up front on the driver's side. And these are sort of pressed in, I guess, because it was, uh, a little difficult trying to get it out. Oh, that one's in. That one's in. That one's in. And that one's in. Okay. Now you got four 10 millimeter bolts. Oh, damn. Almost lost that. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.